Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell, we're not in my home theater. We we're actually in my office. And this video is gonna be a two part video. First part is gonna be me explaining why I haven't posted a video in about three months. And then the next part is going to be a brief rundown of Odyssey's newest multi EQX software. So I'm just gonna rip the bandaid right off. I got a divorce. I separated from my wife um, in mid November and I'm in a new space, but as far as the channel is concerned, nothing is going to change. I'm still going to be posting monthly videos on home theater, and I'm still going to be giving you the best content and latest and greatest in the world of home theater, and I'm gonna to continue to grow this channel and interact with you, so nothing there changes. Uh, but obviously with um, you know, going through that, it was a very chaotic um, couple of months. Not to mention, I also got a pretty bad cold on my birthday, which is in early December. That lasted about 14 days. And then three weeks later, I got a throat infection of some type, which also lasted about two weeks. Needed to get some meds for that. And then um, I've started two new jobs. Um, so I got a new job, but I'm also working um, on call um, doing audio stuff. So trying to get back into the uh, live sound world. So I've just been very, very busy. So that's the reason I have not uploaded a video for the past three months. But um, I'm back feeling better, doing better. And I'm in a new space. So you're going to get a new series of um, home theater build. Um, it's not going to be much different because the new space is basically identical in a way as far as the theater space. It's just slightly smaller, uh, so be looking forward for that new set of videos for a new build series. But in this new theater, now that I'm in a new space, I'm going to be taking this time to do some minor upgrades and aesthetically do some really cool stuff, so stay tuned and please subscribe for all that content coming up. All right, so the rest of this video is just going to be a brief rundown of Odyssey's newest software. Enjoy. Okay guys, so this is a brief rundown of the new Multi-EQX software from Odyssey Laboratories. And this is going to be for Denon and Marantz receivers and processors, as well as basically any other brand of receivers that use Odyssey. It basically, if your current receiver or processor can utilize the $20 Odyssey app, then you'll be able to take advantage of this software. At this time, it is only for Windows, unfortunately, but I heard that they are working on a, um, a version for Mac. And then this costs, uh, the software is free, but in order to use it, you have to license your AVR, so that's gonna cost $200. But for the functionality that you're going to get out of this thing and the power that you're going to unleash or sound quality, um, I think it's worth it. So like I said, quick brief rundown. I'll go more in depth once I buy this and use it and um, really get time to uh, play around with it and give you my thoughts. So uh, pretty brief setup in terms of the amount of pages you'll be dealing with. It's not um, terribly complicated. I feel like anyone will be able to use this after they just learn some of the basics about um, more professional uh, calibration systems. But this is going to be the first screen you see. You'll log in. You'll want to have your AVR connected to your wireless network. Once you do, you'll find it, you'll connect to it. Once you've connected, the first thing you'll be doing is measuring your subwoofer's response. And it looks like you have the ability to measure two subwoofers. It looks like independently this time, which is not something you were able to do in the past. So you can apply a different EQ to each one. If I'm you know, reading this right, again, I won't know until I get in there and um, use it for myself, but that is pretty exciting. And then the next page is going to be the measurements um, and target curve page, which 
this is uh, this is where a lot of the magic happens, and this is really exciting. You finally have a parametric EQ, and you have a lot of the same type of control that you would have in a professional recording studio and or on a live sound console. This is something I've um, this is something I've seen on say the Avid S6L, which I used to mix on for uh, the live sound events I did at a local casino. So this is really exciting, lots of power here. You're able to adjust specific frequencies, so you can type in what frequency, and then um, sure you able you were able to do that on the app, but you had to scroll to it. This gives you the ability to type it in. And one thing you could not do was the Q. And the Q is just simply the range of frequencies that you are affecting from whatever frequency you um, typed in originally. So to explain that a little bit better always helps for a visual representation. So right here they typed in 1631 or basically 16 kilohertz, which is represented by this dot right here. And then you can see that they have cut out 3 dB. And then the reason they have another dot right there and there is because that's the range that is being attenuated. So most of that's going down uh, 3 dB from 16.31 kilohertz. But the range from that frequency all the way down to it looks like around uh, the 800 range is where it starts to dip down. All of that is also being attenuated, you know, not by much, but it is being attenuated. Now, if you wanted to make that more narrow and not affect frequencies around that, you just adjust the Q and you make it smaller. So it really gives you the ability to fine tune your EQing, which is really exciting. And of course, you're able to cut or boost the frequencies. And at this time, they do the um, they apply the parametric EQ to channels as pairs at this time, meaning that your front left and right are considered a pair, your surround left and right are a pair, your back left and right are a pair, Dolby Atmos front left and right are a pair, and the surround backs for Dolby Atmos are a pair, and so on and so forth. And um, at this time, I don't think there's going to be an ability to adjust each speaker individually. But so basically, what you do to one speaker is going to affect the other, as far as like the front left and right, and then the surround back left and right. But I think they did that in mind with that, you know, most people are going to try to set up their system in the correct manner, meaning that it's going to be equal distance from you know the, the front wall for instance for the front left and right it's going to be equal distance from these um, the side walls and they're going to be um, evenly spaced and um, towed in or maybe not towed in to your listening position so they figured that they're going to have mostly the same frequency response provided that, that they are the same brand of speakers and the same line or series of speakers. So that does make sense. I get why they did that, but it would be nice if in the future they allowed you to adjust the EQ of each speaker individually. You know, just in case for those people who have um, a mishmash of different brands in their system, you know, it certainly exists, or different series within the brands, or just, you know, don't have a nice rectangular dedicated room you know maybe you are in a living room that's open up to a dining room and a kitchen you know so on and so forth so um, the good news is is that they are listening to the user base they are listening to the hardcore enthusiasts and they're giving us what we want and proof of that was the Odyssey app that released you know several years back um, can't remember exactly when but uh, this is just proof that they do care, that they are listening, and they're trying to give you the best um, that your system is capable of. So this is really exciting, getting this capability, especially the fact that this is something that is generally only for extremely advanced um, home theater calibration systems and or um, live sound um, EQ. So... 
very exciting stuff here. This next page um, simply allows you to limit the range of frequencies that the uh, receiver or processor is going to affect or filter. So you can adjust the lower frequency limit and the higher frequency limit. And you can, it looks like on here, you can individually um, make those choices for the front, left, and the right, and so on and so forth for all the other channels. And another cool thing, too, is not only are you going to get a much more accurate representation of the measurements for each individual speaker, but you're also going to be able to apply data smoothing. And what that is is just simply, if you looked at a measurement graph, say with um, REW um, or any other calibration software, you'll know that it shows you a lot and there's a lot of spikes or, you know, like a lot of information and smoothing just makes, it gets rid of some of it and just gives you a more simplified view. So um, that's very exciting as well and very useful. Next page should look familiar to you if you already have the $20 Odyssey app. It'll show you all the speakers in your system. It'll show you your trim levels, your distance, uh, the detected um, cutoff or roll off of that particular speaker. So nothing new there. And then another page that will look similar to you is this page right here where you can just enable the multi EQ, um, the dynamic volume, dynamic EQ, or the low frequency containment, which essentially just brick walls all the lower frequencies. So I don't see why you'd ever want to use that, but it's there. And that's just about it. It's only seven different pages um, initially. Um, of course, there's a lot more in depth than all those different pages, but I will go over that once I buy the software for myself and use it and give you a um, rundown of how to use it and take you through um, EQing my system and how to go about EQing your system. And then I'll give you a video on my thoughts and opinions and whether or not I think you should buy this and who I think this is for. But um, right off the bat, I will say that this is for the hardcore home theater movie enthusiast, people who have spent, you know, more than, say, four or five grand on their system and really want to get the absolute, just every ounce of power and sound quality out of their system. And um, this is just really exciting stuff. So stay tuned for all those series of videos. And um, if you haven't already, please um, hit the subscribe button. I do monthly videos on home theater. And I'm going to be trying to grow this channel to the next milestone of 5,000 subscribers. So if you guys can help get me there, um, I know you can do it. Um, a lot of people who watch my content are not yet subscribed. So if you like this content, uh, just take one second, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when the next video drops and you can get that content. And please hit the like button if you liked this video. Until next time, thanks for watching and happy listening.